Thank you, Mr. Albert. I am very grateful to you. At last. At last the truth comes to light. Oh, she's going to say that Simon was at the animal show, so he could have used it. Yeah. Mr. Albert, wouldn't it be wise to confess now? To being an accomplice, I mean. Don't tell me even you suspect me, too! Judge Courtney, it seems you and I have come to the same conclusion. Not at all. Our thoughts on this matter are still quite different. Mr. Elbert was certainly an accomplice, but an accomplice to Horace Knightley. Wait a second. Oh. An accomplice to Horace Knightley? What was he trying to do? I'm confused. What do you mean? Mr. Elbert did not move the body. He simply lent the victim his keys. What? Oh, I see what you're saying. It would seem Mr. Elbert did indeed strike Mr. Knightley on the head. However, Mr. Knightley was not knocked out. The two must have made a little negotiation. Negotiation? For Mr. Knightley's escape plan to work, he would have needed the keys to his cell. So Mr. Elbert stole them from the guard. On the other hand, for Mr. Elbert to escape, he needed to get to Mr. Knightley's cell. But if Mr. Knightley had seen him and yelled, the plan would have gone down the drain. And so, they negotiated. I didn't negotiate nothing! Oh? You still intend to deny it? I see. So, in other words, we're back where we started. Mr. Elbert opened the cell door. Mr. Knightley entered Mr. Key's cage. What bullshit. This is the act of someone who doesn't know when to give up. And then he was moved into the prison. Of course. And then he was killed in the prison workroom. Weren't you listening? The scent on the body shows it must have been moved through the tunnel. Knightley was moved from the detention center through the tunnel. The Bitch, what do you got this time? Please wait until someone is finished before speaking. Hey, I was speaking just now, bitch. Follow your own advice. I do not claim that he wasn't moved through the tunnel. What? You don't? The scent shows that the body was moved through the tunnel. However, that does not mean it came from the detention center. What do you mean? That sure sounds like a contradiction to me. Isn't there one more possibility? The well in the courtyard. It's possible the body was dropped down from there. The courtyard? I don't get it. Explain. Mr. Keyes carried the cage not to the workroom, but to the courtyard. Mr. Knight was killed in the courtyard and his body was dropped down the well. That seems like a very roundabout way of doing things. And then the body at the bottom of the well was moved by Mr. Dogan's dog. That is a very complicated procedure. You know what? I was wondering why Dogen randomly got the body. But you know what? Maybe Roland is on to Dogen. Maybe Roland found something out and Dogen's like, shit, she actually has something on me. And so when uh, Roland killed uh, Knightley, she was like, hey, move his body for me. Um, and then he did. Before the body was discovered, what was happening in the courtyard? The animal show, right? Regina and Simon were there. Wait, Simon? Ah! But everyone else was there too! I see you understand. Who then dropped the body down the well? Of course, it was Regina! Judge Courtney. She's a tough opponent. No, she's not! This is bullshit! 
When did Simon have time to do that? There was the animal show going on! The well was out in the open! Her flexible way of thinking enables her to adapt and come up with her own deductions. Mr. Nettley was not carried to the workroom, but to the courtyard. When did this happen? Mr. Keyes was off stage for 15 minutes. That was when he dropped Mr. Knightley down the well. It's as simple as that. How the heck... That's gotta be like... How would no one have noticed? It's almost impossible for no one to have noticed. Possible, I guess, if he was being carried in the... cart thingy, but he couldn't be carried by... Simon. Cause... Cause that's not what was happening at the time, right? I don't know. Judge Courtney, your reasoning is sound, I'll admit that. Really? It sounds pretty fucked up to me. However, let's say the body was dropped down the well. That didn't have to be done during the show. It could have had it happened at a different time. I don't think it could have been done during the show by anyone. Especially not during... Maybe at a different time it could have been done by Simon, but not during the show. It was... The well is right there in the open, if I remember correctly. Like, it's not like it was hidden behind the stage. Unfortunately for you, Prosecutor Edgeworth, that is not possible. What? When the show started, Mr. Elber was in the tunnel, on his way to the cell block. Mr. Elber, at that time, did you happen to see a body in the tunnel? Nope. Nothing like that. But he's also saying he's not an accomplice. So, him saying that now is meaningless. Ah! So if the body had been dropped before the show, Mr. Elbert would have seen it. He's also stated he's not an accomplice! Your logic is wrong! Okay, he's either lying about one thing or the other, and if that's the case, nothing he says can be taken into account. Or you're bullshitting. Like, ah. And after the show, the body was discovered in the workroom. In other words, the body being dropped down the well and then moved to the workroom could only have been done during the show. That's assuming we follow your fucked up logic, which is almost impossible as far as I'm concerned. And besides that, you're relying on the testimony of someone for one thing, while ignoring his testimony for another thing. That is the most stupid thing. That is the most stupid thing. I thought you were smarter than Sebastian. Now the truth comes out, you're really not. Or if you are, then you're desperately grasping, trying anything you can to make Simon guilty, because maybe you're also Roland's bitch. I don't know. And the only one who could have done it is Simon Keys. I'm sorry, I'm not taking this seriously. I cannot take you seriously right now. Mr. Edgeret, what should we do? If the body was moved through the well, that does put Mr. Keys in a major disadvantage. No, it doesn't! The notion that the body was moved through the well is only a hypothesis. That doesn't mean there is evidence. I'm obliged to recognize that fact. Will you allow me to investigate the courtyard once more? I give my approval in the name of the goddess of law. Uh, yeah, while you're at it, maybe you're gonna straight up your frickin' stories with Mr. Elbert? Like, I have never seen something so stupid on behalf of the rival character. I mean, I've had rivals do things that I thought was just plain, you know you're wrong kind of thing. Um, and obviously Edgeworth in the first game, the original Ace Attorney, made some pretty stupid decisions as a rival. Um... But I've never seen a rival rely on the testimony of a witness for one argument and completely ignore his testimony for another argument. That's so dumb. And we're supposed to take this seriously. Well, considering we're in end part one right now, and we're probably moving into end part two, I would assume so. What? 
Oh, hey, plot twist near the end, just like with uh, the first case, right? Someone else is escaping, question mark? Oh, fire! Alright, something cool always happens in these. I always love it. Could be another prison break, pal! Should we evacuate? Everyone, please remain calm. This is just the signal for the evening meal. Oh. There's so much for something cool happening. It's a little loud, so I can understand why you'd be surprised. It sure scared me. I'm terribly sorry. And with that, everyone, please return to your posts. Wait a second! Two guards came in with Roland. One of them was Jailbird. Now there are two guards with Roland. What? Jailbird, it's also time for you to return to your room. Ugh. Ugh. I got it. Let's go, Rocky. You still love him. You can't stay mad at Rocky. Warden Roland, we will be proceeding to the courtyard for another investigation, where I'm assuming we'll find out you're the killer. Is it time for you to go home as well, Mr. Edgeworth? Now I'm even more sure you're the killer. Looks like we're out of time. Why don't you continue this another time? Uh, no, I don't feel like letting you conceal evidence now that you realize uh, we're on to you. Man, I am so glad. I was so sure Jailbird was the killer for a while. Now that we've cleared that up, I am positive it's you. But, the investigation! Today's been a big day, right? With the escape prisoner and all. And might I add, that's kind of a flaw to this case. Uh, I mean, I've seen this in other cases too, but... There really should be more witnesses, and not just witnesses from previous games. Because it's never someone from a previous game. And it's not going to be Dogen, because he's obviously a killer. Um, so, like, it's always going to be, usually, it's always going to be someone, like, new. Or even if it's someone who's been around for a while, um, it's got to be someone who we assume, you know, isn't the bad guy. And not a recurring character, but someone who's important in this game. Um, usually that's how it works. Maybe they'll throw a plot twist in one day and be like, Oh, hey, this is a recurring character. Like, Lana killed someone. Oh, no. More like, oh, yeah, I finally get to throw her ass in jail. But, um, uh, this time around, and in other times, in certain games, I've seen, like, there's been very few possible suspects. And it's a problem, but, uh, at least in this particular case, it was kind of down to the wire. There was a couple possible suspects. Afraid I can't let outsiders like you would around any longer. Uh, this is my decision as the warden of this prison. Does Justine object? Please object. Oh, fuck you! Are you working together? I wouldn't be fucking surprised! The warden's word can be called the law of the prison. No! I think she's the killer! She's gonna cover up her evidence! No! <sighs> what the fuck? I bet you're fucking working together. I might not be able to prove it, but I bet you're dirty, Justine! You are grasping way too hard for you to not be dirty. I think it's time you all left. <sighs> Looks like we'll have to continue the investigation tomorrow. Hopefully Roland hasn't disposed of it. whatever evidence is left. At least body was dropped down the well. And was carried to the workroom from Mr. Albert's cell. This is Judge Courtney's logic, but is it correct? And... Judge Courtney claims that Mr. Keyes transported him, but... Was Mr. Keyes really the only one with a chance to move him? Mr. Edgeworth, let's do our best tomorrow. We have to save Simon no matter what. Yeah, a double uh, sound effect for emphasis. Hooray for emulator glitches! I must prove Mr. Keyes innocent without fail.